Hi everyone, my name is Missy McAnulty. I'm an Edinburgh-based makeup artist and I'm so excited to be involved in Stand Together, Glam Together in aid of the British Red Cross and the Hair and Beauty Charity. Both organisations are doing incredible things for our society during these challenging times. So if you like the tutorials, please donate on the link in their Instagram bio. Thank you for asking me to take part today. Now on to the tutorial. Skin is Maybelline Strobing Glow as a base, then MAC Matte Cream in the T-Zone, followed by Water Weight by MAC, Fix Plus Magic Radiance for added glow, and then finally Prolong Wear Concealer from MAC. This look is glowy skin and all about the eyes. I always use Soft Ochre by MAC as a base. I then use Blot Powder from MAC to set the base, it's really effective and I love this powder because it has zero flashback. This look is created with the eye pencil. This is Costa Riche from MAC, it's a really lovely warm brown. You don't need to be incredibly neat at the start but you just make sure that you're penciling the shape along the lash line flicking it out almost like a winged shape and then following the crease. This look always looks a bit strange at the start but the pencil adds depth and then you just want to wing it out just to create that sort of wing effect shape. Now you can see that the shape is just stenciled out. You do the same thing on the other eye and then I blend out the pencil with my precise crease from my kit go. You don't use any eyeshadow at this point, you're just basically blending out the pencil, following the lines and flicking it out at the wing a bit. Keep on blending the pencil along and upwards following the lines trying not to get any pencil on the lid however if you do you can clean it up later you then do the same for underneath the eye using costa riche pencil and using the my kitco brush to blend it out and join it at the wing you then have your shape and you're ready for eyeshadow this is a warm brown smoky look so i'm using this red brown my all-time favorite brown script from MAC and a pencil brush to set the liner. In light motions you're adding brown script over the liner on the crease and underneath the eye and then getting a tapered brush. This is from my Kit Co with no shadow on just to blend out the edges. The next step is adding more depth, so I'm getting a dark brown shadow with a really fine tipped pencil brush, this one's from Masked. You then add this to the outer winged area to add more dimension and depth in the outer corners. My transition colour is medium dark mineralised bronzer from MAC and I used the same tapered brush to get the bronzer and blend out the brown script shadow from underneath the eye and in the crease area. So keep blending and blending and then you should see the eye look really come together. The colour that I'm using for my lid is Orb from MAC. It's a matte light pink. And to apply this, I'm using a small flat brush from Primark and a sharp angled brush from MAC. These brushes are really small when applying the shadow, so you can be really precise and clean up any liner that has gotten onto the lid. The sharp angled brush gets right into the wing tip. As you can see, the shadow on the lid makes the lines much cleaner. Once I completed both applications of the lid area, I decided to add more depth again in the crease with brown script. Now for liquid liner, I used Black Track, which is a really intense black matte liner and a 209 from MAC. You draw the Black Track liner along the lash line and then the end of the flick meets the tip of the light eyeshadow. I zoomed in so you can see clearly. I always have a lot of fun when I do this eye look because you can get really creative and you can always see the intensity building stage by stage. A 60s eye makeup look 
always needs a cream coal liner or white eyeliner in the waterline. It's key and it opens up the eyes. 60s makeup is always massive lashes, so I'm using these amazing lashes from Sana Beauty with dual glue. For this look, you want big lashes on the top and bottom lash line. With this look, I always add concealer after I've done the majority of the eye look. It cleans up any of the fallout and also sharpens any edges. I then set the concealer with blot powder and used a tapered brush to blend the eyeshadow back into the concealer just to make sure that the full face is absolutely set before I put bronzer on I went back in with blot powder. I then added with a Rimmel liquid liner some mini bottom lashes. Now on to mascara. This is the Rimmel Extra Super Lash Mascara. I think it's a really good product. I really layer it on the bottom lash line and underneath the top lash line. I never add any mascara on the tips of the false lashes as I never want them to look clumpy. Now onto brows, I use stylized pencil from MAC and the False Lash Maximizer from MAC to brush the hairs up and have that sort of brushed up brow effect. I love this pencil because it has a really fine tip and when you guide it through the brows it fills in the gaps but looks really natural and creates a really full brow. I think this product is fantastic. Now brows are done, it's on to faux freckles. I absolutely love this product from Lottie London. Once all the false freckles are applied, I just feel that they look really natural and I go to town on the freckles. <laughs> You just basically apply them where the sun would naturally hit and then you just get your index finger and press them all in. Sometimes the freckles don't move on your face so I get a bit of Magic Radiance Fix Plus and I spray it on and just press once again so that all the freckles are fully blended. For highlight, it's always soft and gentle from MAC. I think the glow is lovely on skin. I use it on the cheekbones, tip of the nose, in between the eyebrows, Cupid's bow, on the eyebrow bone and in the tear duct. For bronzer, it's always mineralised skin finish from MAC. This is medium dark. I just use it to warm up the skin before I properly contour, so in the cheekbones and on the top of the forehead also where the sun would catch, underneath the jaw and I also use it on the bridge of my nose as well just to add a little bit of warmth to. For blush, it's MAC Warm Soul. I think this blusher is lovely, especially for summer. So I'm just using it on the bridge of my nose and on the cheeks also. For extra contour, I'm using a cool shade called Taupe from MAC and I'm just sculpting that into the cheekbones. And more faux freckles because I just don't think you can go overboard. For lips, I'm using the Barry M Rose Lip Liner, so I'm making sure that all of the gaps and edges are filled in. So filling in the top lip and the bottom lip, and then adding concealer for an ombre effect. Some highlight on the collarbone, and finally, Magic Radiance Fix Plus from MAC to set and add glow. And that is the 60s look complete. Thank you so much for watching and thank you again Stand Together Glam Together for having me. If you like the tutorials today, don't forget to donate on the link in their Instagram bio. Thanks everyone.